Hello and welcome to Crazy Hank TV. Today we're going to talk about an American treasure. I'm talking about an actor, a director, a producer, a screenwriter, someone who's been in our life since he was a young little boy, and I'm talking about Ron Howard. Uh, Ron Howard was born into an acting family. His dad, Rance, and his mother, Jean, were both actors. His brother, Clint, has also been acting since he was a young child. He was in the TV show Gentle Ben. Maybe a lot of you don't have never heard of Gentle Ben. It, was, it starred Dennis Weaver, Clint Howard, and it was a story about a boy and his, and his bear. Very loving story, almost like Lassie, except with a bear. Um, and his brother has also been in a lot of Ron Howard directed movies. So if you if you look, if you've seen a Ron Howard movie, you probably have seen Clint Howard. Uh, Ron has two daughters that are actors, Paige Howard and Bryce Dallas Howard. His first big break was in 1960 when he landed the role of Opie Taylor on the Andy Griffith Show. Now I want to show you a short clip of the opening credits to season one and pay attention to it very carefully. Um, as you see, uh, Opie, Ron Howard, picks up a rock. He throws it in towards the lake. It goes to the right. Now, if, if you watch closely, at the end, there's a big splash all the way to your left. So either he had a magic rock, a, a great curveball, but what really happened was he couldn't make the throw. He was too young and, and didn't have a strong enough arm to make it to the lake. So a stagehand throws the rock all the way to the right. But if you've never noticed it before, I noticed it about a year ago when I was doing a rewatch and I looked it up and there's a whole thing on on Ron Howard not being able to throw the rock into the, the lake. So it is a thing. You don't believe me, go check the internet. It's, it's all there. Just Google Ron Howard throwing a rock. It's prob probably show up there. Uh, the Andrew Griffith Show ran from 1960 to 1968. Ron Howard appeared in 238 episodes. I thought he did a great, as most child actors are, I, I'll say this, are not very good. Uh, Ron Howard was, was great in the role of Opie Taylor. He held his own with Don Knotts, Andy Griffith, all the other uh, cast members that were on the show. He, he, was, he was believable as Opie Taylor. So hats off to Ron Howard for being a great child actor. In 1962, uh, while the Andrew Griffith Show was going on, he was in the film version of The Music Man, starring Robert Preston and Shirley Jones. In 1963, he starred in the film version of The Courtship of Eddie's Father with Glenn Ford. And he did other TV shows. He did he did The Twilight Zone. He did uh, The Big Valley. He did an episode of Big Valley. He was on an episode of M.A.S.H. Sometimes you hear the bullet. He plays a, a young a private who's trying to impress his, his girlfriend, Bernice, and he's used some false ID. It's, it's a great episode if you haven't seen it. He, he ends up with a purple heart. Well, his character, Wendell, did, not Ron Howard. In 1970 to 71, he was on the TV show The Smith Family, starring Henry Fonda. So there you go. He's working with Henry Fonda, one of the big name legends of, of Hollywood of all time. Uh, in 1973, Howard starred in the George Lucas coming-of-age movie, American Graffiti. Um, this is a great movie. If you haven't seen American Graffiti, it, it's it's a fantastic movie, and, and I it has an all star cast. Richard Dreyfuss is in it. Uh, Harrison Ford is in it. I, I mean, I the, the list goes on and on. It, it's a great great movie, and I, I really suggest you watch it. In 1974, he landed the, the role of Richie Cunningham on the hit show Happy Days. Yes, Richie Cunningham. I always wonder would most people remember him as Richie Cunningham or Opie Taylor. I guess it just depends on the generation. I, I guess I remember him as both. I mean, I watched both shows. Both shows have, I don't think, have ever been off the air. And they've probably been seen in, I, I don't know how many different countries, but both are amazing shows. Uh, Happy Days ran from 1974 to 1984. Howard left the show in 1980. He did return for two episodes in 1983. And he did the series finale in 1984. In 1977, Ron Howard got his first chance at directing. His first film was Grand Theft Auto, which he also wrote. So at a very young age, he's already into directing, so it just adds to his resume. He's a writer, a director, a, an actor. Again, it's just an amazing career. Next up was the movie Night Shift, uh, starring Henry Winkler, Shelley Long, and Michael Keaton. This is, I'm going to say it again, is another movie that holds up over time. It's a very funny movie. The, the the amazing thing is Henry Winkler, who had played the Fonz, was such a cool guy on the Fonz, tough guy on the Fonz, exact opposite character in this movie. He's he, It was it was a great, great role for Henry Winkler and great directing. And again, if you haven't seen it, go watch it. The list of movies that Ron Howard has directed is a long one, so I'm just going to list a few. 
Yeah, you can want just look up his Wikipedia, and it's just an amazing uh, list of all the movies that Ron Howard has directed. He directed Splash, Cocoon, Gung Ho, which is an underrated movie. I like it. Again, stars Michael Keaton. Uh, Backdraft with uh, Kurt Russell, uh, Apollo 13, starring Tom Hanks, uh, Gary Sinise, Kevin Bacon, and Bill Paxton. And that, it's just a great, great movie. I remember seeing that in the theater. And when the Apollo 13, spoiler, uh, hits the atmosphere safely and, and lands into the ocean, everyone in the theater cheered. I'm like going, did you guys not know the story? But that's that's a side note. I, I, I get off uh, topic here. A Beautiful Mind. In 2018, he took over for Phil Lord and Christian Miller to direct Star Wars uh, Solo. Again, another underrated movie. I know a lot of people don't like it. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a really good movie. Is it the best Star Wars movie of all time? No, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun, fun, fun movie. Ron Howard is also co-chairman with Brian Grazer of Imagine Entertainment, a film and TV production company that has done several TV shows and movies. I'll just name a few here. Uh, movies are Friday Night Lights, 8 Miles, TV shows, 24, Felicity, and Arrested Development, which he is also the narrator for that show. At age 66, Ron Howard is still going strong. He has had an amazing career. And the best thing is future generations will get to watch his work because these movies are classics. And, of course, the TV show, Andy Griffith Show, and Happy Days, again, like I said earlier, has never been off the air and, and still watchable today. They both shows still hold up. So there you have it, some quick information on Ron Howard. Again, I say uh, national treasure, American treasure, because he's given us so much entertainment over the years. And again, if you want to see more of what he does, I'll put the his Wikipedia page in the uh, information section. But when you look it over, it's just an amazing collection of work, like I think I said before. So hats off to Ron Howard. Thank you for entertaining us for all these years. And I'm out. Bye.